Hello and welcome. I'm Trebecca99 and this is FTL Advanced Edition. Uh, we are going to be playing through this time with the Mantis Cruiser. Uh, this is a very fun ship if, uh, uh, if you like boarding and attacking enemies, as I do. If you've been watching the videos, you'll notice in general I try to get the crew transporter on most of my ships and, uh, and then try to get Mantis or Rock crew members in order to take enemy ships, and the, and the reason for doing that is you get more uh, scrap and stuff when, when you take ships intact rather than blowing them up. And this is one of the, uh, either the only or one of the only ships that actually starts you with the crew teleporter, and it starts you with three Mantis crew, so you're very well equipped um, to board enemies. So that's going to be the strategy to start with. The downshot of this is that we start with very weak weapons. The small bomb uh, is nice for taking out specific systems, um, so we can use it for that. But before we get to the end game, and actually as we progress through the game, in order to deal with automated ships that we can't board, we are going to have to really get some better weapons in here, because we don't start with anything that's very good. Um, looking at the achievements for this ship, uh, I have already achieved this one, Take No Prisoners, It's uh, I, on a previous playthrough where I ended up failing, but um, all you have to do is is kill the crew of 20 ships. This is very easy. If you're playing with this ship and, and following the video at all, you're guaranteed to unlock this uh, as long as you make it far enough into the game. Avasti Scurvy Dogs. This one is actually very challenging to get because there's not many ships that actually have five enemy crew. Um, and you have to do it without taking hull damage or losing a crew member. It's not so hard not to lose a crew member, but to do that without taking hull damage is actually very difficult. Um, so we've got to be uh, careful there, uh, or that's going to be very hard to get. Battle Royale, uh, we're actually not going to try to get this one, because you have to have lost all of your crew except for one. Um, you know, basically this is best done on a separate on a dedicated playthrough, just go and get all your crew killed till you only have one left, um, and then, you know, pick a ship where you can easily kill off the entire crew with that one guy. So, we're not going to go ahead and try and get Battle Royale right now. We will try and get this, and then it, and if we fail to get that, and so we don't unlock Layout B, we'll just do a quick playthrough uh, in a separate video um, to get the Battle Royale achievement. Okay, so I'm going to rearrange the positioning of my crew here, get these guys ready to jump over, send Emily onto shield so that they recharge faster, save our position, and we're ready to go. As always, I, I like to jump to locations that um, connect to a lot of locations because that maximizes our chances of seeing a store. So we'll head here. Um, unfortunately, there's an asteroid field, which is a big pain. We're going to bomb out those guys' weapons if we can. here. So close. Okay, we got him. This is going to be close to that fight too. Okay, their weapons are down at least. Okay, we got him. We have to be careful though because if an asteroid hits the room these guys are in it's going to kill them. Alright, now go ahead and heal up. No, I can't turn off the shields. I'm going to turn off the oxygen to keep power in the FTL. Because I think that, yeah, having power in the FTL uh, in the engines helps the FTL drive and charge. And I can deal without oxygen for at least a brief period of time. Oh, I can open that. I don't need oxygen in there at all. Now we can jump. I don't want to go that way because I'm gonna. I that's not really a good route out of there. 
So I'm gonna head over in this direction. And then down here, I guess. Nothing here. Turn the oxygen back on. Return to stations. And we're out of here. Alright, we got a bunch of stuff and a quest marker. There's the quest marker. I hope there's a store here somewhere. So, yeah, from the quest marker we can get down to the exit. So that's probably the way we'll go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna jump down here, jump to the nebula, jump up, and check for stores in this area and then head to the quest beacon. So obviously we're using the small bomb to take out enemy weapon systems to reduce the amount of damage, hull damage we take, system damage, that kind of thing. Ah, they damaged our teleporter, that's bad. Oh, and our small bomb missed. At least they're humans, though. If they were mantis and they damaged our teleporter, that would be seriously bad news. Now I'm going to perform a little bit of magic to have these guys switch positions, so the guy with more health is taking the beating. There's a fire in the teleporter room, too. So I'm going to have the Angie go repair it. There, we killed them, at least. There's a fire in this room as well. I'm going to pop those open to help put the flames out. Actually, just in case the oxygen room caught fire, I'm going to clear the air out of there, too. Oh! It did, and it spread in here also. Okay, it should be just about off. Close all the doors, go check it out. Teleport back. Power up the med bay, let's make sure there's air in these rooms. There is, okay. You'll notice we don't have a sensor system on this ship, which is one of the annoying features of the ship. You have to find one and buy it. Um, so we'll be looking to buy one as soon as we find one in the store. Okay, I think we're good to go. There's a store. So, let's see, do I want to go to the Nebula now, I think? Maybe I don't, because going to the nebula basically forces me to go to the store next, whereas I could get away with a lot more jumps um, if I don't go to the store immediately. And bomb their weapons. Oh, we got an ion blaster back there too. I forgot to even look at that. Um, it's just a one power, one shot every eight seconds, I think, so not a huge deal. And I better fix the oxygen system before we get in trouble. Those guys are dead. Alright, we got a. Oh my god, a chain Vulcan! Wow. These are awesome. They go down to a 1.1 second shot. It fires a shot every second. However, it requires four powers, so it's gonna be a little while before we can use it, I gotta say. Um, but that's gonna be awesome a little later. Oops.
We got really lucky with that chain Vulcan. It starts with a pretty low um, firing time, but it speeds up rapidly once it gets charged up. Let's just look at it again. Takes how many charges? Uh, wait, it doesn't say? Chain... It says what the cap is, but not how many shots it takes to reach its max speed. That's okay. Now, the question is... So I think we're gonna go quest store nebula. Um, we don't need to do it yet. I think we probably need to go to the quest right after this. Oh shoot. So that's gonna be two jumps, but um, one, two, three, four. That's gonna be too many. Shoot. So we gotta go to the quest. Um, and then we'll probably go to the store next, but maybe not. Oh, there's an anti-ship battery. Those things are a pain in the butt. Seriously. Alright, better get some killing done here. Shields are down, oxygen's down. Uh, I'm gonna go fix the shields right away because that's gotta be a priority. And now I'm gonna get hit by this anti ship battery. Okay, I killed two of their crew, they have someone else coming. God, this is bad. I'll let his health get a little bit lower. Now I'll go ahead and have them switch locations. Boom, and that just took out my door system. Not the end of the world, but the three hull damage that thing does is so brutal. Okay, we killed him. Got some scrap. Jump away. Got the shields repaired. Time to repair the oxygen now. Still charging the FTL drive. These guys can head to the med bay. Okay, as soon as it tells us the ASB is locked on, we gotta get out of here right away. There it is. Okay, um, can we jump here and then to the store? Yes, we can do that. And then we're going to the nebula. piloting so they can't fly away. Send the Angie to repair the doors. Now we're almost ready to fly, now we can teleport. Um, we'll go after the weapon systems to begin with. sure he doesn't get killed. There, there's oxygen back at least. Okay, we're gonna send him to the med bay. <clears throat> Man, they're doing such brutal damage. Hmm, they don't have a pilot in obviously. I could take a shot at their weapons, or maybe their drones. 
but I'm actually really close to killing them. Got him. Okay. Whew. That's... I don't like how much hull damage I've taken these last couple encounters. Look, a friendly little fire. Oh, forget this. Hang on, guys, hang on, guys. Okay, I gotta just empty out these rooms. Everyone, just get the heck out of there. Let me get you out of there, too. is supposed to be open. Okay. <coughs> so that's going to just vent the oxygen out of the rooms, which will eventually put the fires out. Uh, I better empty the shield room too, just in case the fire spreads in there. Okay, hopefully that did it. Healed. Okay, now we're ready. And now we can go to the store. Okay, let's see what we have. Ooh, scrap recovery arm is great. Um, we don't need the backup DNA bank. The scrap recovery arm, that is huge. We are going to repair our hull because we got into pretty bad shape there. Everything else we look sort of okay on. Um, I do really like flak guns, I gotta say. We already have this Vulcan, um, and the flak gun takes, what, two power? The flat gun would be useful, but I don't think we really need to spend 65 flat, uh, scrap on it right now. It's not going to be our priority. Um, what we can do, though, is upgrade our ship a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and make it so we can at least use two weapons at a time. That way, if we encounter an automated ship, we can use the basic laser and the ion blaster. Uh, which will definitely help us take them down a little faster. Um, and we'll need one power for that. And we're going to upgrade the t crew teleporter, um, which when we don't need that extra power means we can teleport to and from the enemy ship faster. Makes it a lot safer for our team, because if they're down there getting killed, if they're losing, um, we can teleport them back to safety, or we can teleport Emily in as backup. Um, a little more readily. So now we will jump to the nebula and then to the exit. Okay. Oh, good thing we upgraded for more power. Um, what are we gonna do here? Do I want to keep? put two power in the teleporter. Again, just for that more safety margin. We're going to completely power down the shields. And we'll use the two power in the weapons to blast out their weapons right away. Actually, they might power up their shields, so I'm going to try and eye on the shields right now so that my laser gets through. Let's see if their shields come up. Ouch. Oh, they've got a drone up. See, that's brutal. That attack drone is gonna just destroy me. I'm gonna eye on that, I think. Yeah, this attack drone is gonna just ruin my ship. 
There. I took out the drone for now. Now I can eye on the shields to be safe. Okay, killed two of their crew. Here comes another one. Ah, oh, the drone is back up. Hit that frickin' thing. Should have ioned it again. At least the laser's hitting it. There, I took it out. I'll just switch these guys' positions really quick. There we go. Oh, that was, again, a lot more hull damage than I really wanted to take. Put one power in the crew teleporter. Um, I can power down the weapon systems. Gotta go do some repairs. One drone part for seven fuel. Okay, uh, you know, as much as I need drone components, that's a hard ratio to give up. We do have 21 fuel, so we don't really need fuel. However, this will probably take care of our fuel for the rest of the game. We should be able to keep up with it with that much of a surplus. Probably, not necessarily. Um, so, we have a nebula or a nebula. Pretty much everything looks, um, very equivalent from here. So we'll pick a nebula. I don't really care which one. Um, the one nice thing this does do, of course, is get lets us get some extra jumps in. probably going to board us since they have a crew teleporter. Ooh, two mantis on board there. And here they come with an Angie. Uh, they left their two mantis on board and boarded us with an Angie. That's an interesting strategy, guys. Okay. i got to admit, a little bit ugly over here for Bovi. There goes our bomb. Oh my god, Bovi's almost dead. We gotta get out of here. At least we almost got that guy. Okay, we're out. Let's go heal. And I'm gonna assume that their mantis over there is um, repairing the engines. We killed their Engi, that's great. So I'm gonna use my small bomb to try and finish off the last of their crew. left. I wish I had sensors, man. Or some, uh, actually, that wouldn't help me, but I guess I can't tell from with the bomb where they are. I'll just go ahead and teleport back over. Okay, good enough. Oh, 
Oh, kind of some fires in there. Got him. Ooh, and we got a Mantis crew member. That's awesome. So he'll go work the engines for now. And now we have two. We have a full team of Mantis. That's all the Mantis we really need. Really, anything we'd take anything. So, as per my usual, I'm trying to jump to locations that give me uh, the ability to see a lot of uh, to see a lot of positions to increase the odds of finding a store, which so far I haven't found any. I'll jump over there and then probably jump around in circles for a little while. Oof, free crew. Alright, given that we have a human, actually, I'm gonna take Remo here and switch him to engines. The plan here, so the thinking now is that the two mantis working on systems here, Joel and Emily, will eventually be sitting in this room waiting to teleport over. They'll just be standing by so they can teleport as soon as, as possible. So the reason I move Remo here to engines is that that of the three systems later in the game is going to be is the system that I think it's least important to have someone standing on it just adds five percent of aid as opposed to having your weapons or shields charge faster and Angie are very useful for repairs so I want him to kind of be the most mobile around the ship most of the time um, yep so that's the plan there's our store so now we kind of want to jump around in circles until we get to it. Thinking one, two, three. I can probably make four jumps or something before having to go there. So we'll start down there. Okay. Oh, we have a little bit of a power issue. Question is whether we want to power weapons. I think we do. Alternatively, I could have my shields up. Just don't know. Here, actually. I'm going to power the... No, oh, that's dangerous, though. I am going to keep the shields up. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, and I'll just get a second team ready to teleport over right away. There we got him. Okay. I saved the new positions. There we go. Save. Okay. Uh, I just gotta power the engines. So we can get out of here. Oh, that's too bad. It looks like I could have done one more jump. But I was playing a little bit safe. Another plasma storm. It's crazy how many of these we've been dealing with. Um, I 
since he doesn't have his shields up, I'm going to go ahead and try and take out his weapons. Oh, this is just a defense drone, so I don't need to worry about it. It's not like last time when he had an attack drone. That was brutal. And then... Yeah, I'm going to maybe do this the other way. I just got to make sure he doesn't put up his shields. There. I was like, where's the other crew? They should have another crew member. Ah, here he goes with the shields now. Shoot. Alright. Oh! <coughs> War Mantis. Awesome. What happened to our med bay? Oh, they must have shot it. Might as well have this extra mantis man the doors for now. It's too bad if I didn't have to double through, I'd totally go there. I had tons of time before going to this store. Holy cow. I've been boarded, but I don't think the boarders realized they were boarding a ship with five mantis on it. very effective fighting force I have, if I may say so myself. Plan out my route very well here. Okay, I could buy a slug crew, that's tempting. Oh my god, scrap recovery arm. I can have two of them and they stack. That's incredible. That's just flat out awesome. Um, repair my ship. <coughs> In theory, I could use drone parts, except I don't have a use for drone parts yet. I am going to go ahead and buy a, buy a slug, especially since I don't have a sensor system yet. Um, so that will fill up my crew. 
I like having slugs pilot, but honestly, there's no more need for a slug to pilot than a human, and the human's already had at least a little practice. Not that he seems to have gained any skills. Um, so... I will put the slug on... What should I put the slug on? How's Emily doing here? Shields or weapons? Put them on weapons. Joel can work the doors. Yeah. Joel, actually, we generally don't need someone working the doors. He can stand there and be a backup. So we pretty much have our crew. In theory, we might replace a mantis with something of another species. A rock, if we had the chance, I would take a rock over a mantis just for help putting out fires. Um, even maybe another Engi, just given how many freaking mantis we have. Although they are helpful for dealing with intruders when we've sent our away teams over, but usually that's what the, the backup uh, aw um, away team can deal with that. So Swamps is already maxed out on combat. Um, so I'm gonna switch him out to the backup team so some other people can get a chance, you know, get a turn to fight. Um, that can't be slightly risky, but I think we're early enough in the game that that's okay. Just means, you know, you won't do as much damage. when you send teams over because you won't have as experienced uh, a guy. <coughs> Another store. Okay. I'm not sure I need it though. I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Um, yeah, basic laser and ion blast are gonna be the way to go. fire on for this fight. Ah, okay, that is seriously bad. There we go, we disabled his weapons for now. So now actually, yeah, got it. I'm gonna lie on the cockpit so we don't miss. There we go. Switch back to weapons. <coughs> Alright, one more hit and he's done. So we have three human crew, at least now we can see where they are. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bomb out their weapons. Power up my teleporter, go take those guys. Get the second team ready. I need to send the second team. No, I won't. Ooh, 
that's no good. Better fix that. very slowly, but we've got this. So we're gonna have to upgrade our weapons to get that Vulcan chain crazy laser thing working soon. Or else we're gonna maybe be in a bit of trouble. Okay, so now... Oops. Here, let's unpower these. We can keep our shields on. Keep that on. Keep oxygen on. Nobody should have lost any health. Which who's in which room? I mean, which spot? Okay. Yeah, we got this. We got this. There we go. We got him. Phew. It's close over there. Eleven health. putting some extra power in them, or, you know, upgrading the med bay soon. Just so I don't have to sit here for so long when I'm trying to heal. three of them, so we'll, oh, they're still technically in the room? Come on. Just trying to move these guys in. Uh, right, and we will bomb their weapons as per you. Oh no, we will not. We will bomb their mid bay. That's drastically more important. There, they're heading to the med bay. These guys switch locations. There. Oh, that killed both of them. That's awesome. And their 
are fires in there, so that Engie's gonna try and put it out. Um, but uh, let's turn off auto fire. I'm gonna teleport in and kill him in the fire because I can get out of there in time. Let's have these guys try and take out their weapon. Oh no, he's running away. Got him. Alright, let's get out of the fire. Ow! Was that really necessary? Alright, we have a fire in our med bay now. And I worry potentially somewhere else. Alright, let's get that repaired. Um, Mantis are not very good at repairing hull breaches. Teleport these guys back before the fire spreads. has full health, right? Yep. This ship is burning up. Okay, so just checking Joel and Bovi. How are they doing on attack skill? Alright. Bovi's getting pretty high. Olafson could probably use some training. Um, I do kind of risk... Actually, you know what? I think Joel should go with Bovi. Or Olafson go with Bovi. Because <coughs> Olafson has like no attack skill at all. Um, which is going to mean it'll be hard having two guys without much attack skill. Bovi at least has a bunch of experience so it's good to have at least one of them be pretty good at fighting so you still have an advantage even if you face you know like other mantis that kind of thing. So we'll jump to the exit. Ugh, nothing here. So I can make it to the store. The only problem is <coughs> once I'm here Almost certainly, because that's not in the nebula, the rebels will overtake me at the exit, which is a bit of a risk. Um, but you know, I think I'll be okay as long as I'm going to go to the store, buy what I can, upgrade my ship with all of the remaining money, and then make that final jump. So, oh, interesting. Okay, pike beam, fire beam. <coughs> We've seen how effective that was against us. But you have to have the enemy shields down. Um, breach Bomb Mark II... Nah. Backup battery is good. Mine control I don't think I want. There's just not much here. I'm going to go with the backup battery because I want that eventually. Repair the ship. I've got plenty of stuff. So now... Let's see, there's a couple things to think about here. Certainly shields would be an option. Um, the other option here is to go... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with two weapons. And then I'm going to go equipment. Stick the Vulcan in. Mm, yeah. I'll use this layout. shields too. So this means I can use the Vulcan when I don't have, when I'm not planning to teleport. When I am planning to teleport I can still use the S-bomb and the Ion Blast. Um, you know, or I have the option of taking shields down. And I can use power actually, potentially, to, to teleport as well. So here we go, facing the Rebel Fleet like I said I would. Um, 
they only have three crews, so honestly, I think the best bet here is going to be to just kill them. Three human crew is, like, not such a big deal. Oh, they have this gene bank, though, so I have to take that down. So we'll use our Vulcan to do that. One down, two down, here comes the third. Oof, flat gun is brutal. <coughs> Alright, they're coming back. So obviously I'm going to need to... I'm going to head down to their weapon systems. Teleport over. I'm obviously going to have to readjust where people are standing in this room. Actually, this is okay for now. Yeah, we got their guy. There, now we just need to destroy that thing. Okay, you get out of there. There. Now the Vulcan can stop firing. I've destroyed their thing. Alright. <coughs> so we got him. Without too much to hurt. This Vulcan, that was very lucky to get that thing. This this is one of my favorite weapons. Once it's fully charged up, it fires every one second. 1.1 seconds. Which is totally crazy if you ask me. Okay, Angie Homeworlds or Mantis Homeworlds? We're gonna go Mantis, so even though we're flying the Mantis ship, we have a lot of Mantis crew. I'd rather have Angie crew, but we already have done the um, uh, Stealth Cruiser Unlock Quest. We've completed that in Engie Homeworlds. What we have not completed is the Mantis Cruiser Unlock Quest, which is in the Mantis Homeworlds. So we're going to try and get that here. Okay. So here we go. Oh, a store right away, huh? Where can I get there from? I just don't have a lot of scrap. That's too bad. So I'm going to jump through here, back to the store, and then out this way. Can I get three jumps in? It's just hard to know when the Rebel Fleet's going to show up. I think I have time for three jumps and then to head to the store. Two Mantis and an Engie, we should be able to deal with this. We can just bomb their weapons. Get these guys ready to jump over. Should we may not need to jump we don't need to jump the second team in. Actually, the um, the event that allows us to unlock the Mantis Cruiser, get the the event unlock, requires a level two med bay. So we should actually try and upgrade that pretty quick. Oh, and I'm not actually going to be able to get to that store. That's okay. The store was a little early. We had no scrap. Um, 
and so I'll just jump down here and then we'll upgrade our med bay on our next jump because we need that if we're going to get this uh, achievement. Oh shoot, they have a they have a med bay. I didn't notice that. Okay, so this is a bit ugly. We need to get these guys out of here. at their weapon systems, ready to teleport. I'm going to go ahead and take out this guy so they can't repair in there. Oh, the bomb missed. That's brutal. bomb, but that's okay. So I, I really, I could consider putting that healing burst in, um, but I think I don't really have room. I could take out the ion blast. That's what I'll do. I don't actually need, I'm not really using the ion blast right now. So we'll return to positions. Oh, Slug needs healing. And like I said, I'm going to upgrade the med bay. go. There's no way out of that area, so we're going to go up here. Ooh, an escape pod. I'm going to jettison it, because we don't need crew. It can only give us human or mantis, I believe. So we're just going to dump it. Not selling any missiles because I need them. Yeah, we'll jump down here, explore the bottom of the sector. Fuel, I don't really need fuel right now, although it is cheap. Only two scrap per fuel. Mm. I'll buy three. Uh, we're not going to go to the Distress Beacon because the unlock event we're looking for can only happen at non-Distress Beacons. He okay. And we'll get our healing bomb ready. But mainly we want the S-bomb to take out the med bay. Oh, and they boarded us. Interesting decision to send the Engi over. There we go. Took out their med bay. Now we can kill these guys easy. We got them.
Oh, our med bay is not powered up. three jumps here. Nothing there. Ugh, some. And intruders are on board, which we can deal with quite easily. Might as well send Emily over to help. They don't have a med bay. I'm gonna save my missiles because I'm kind of running out. Oh, hello. Um, And off to the exit we go. Interesting. Okay. So have a new Engie crew. Um, we could, in theory, see Emily has about as actually a little more combat experience than all of Sun. Those two guys are maxed out, so I could fire Emily in order to get more access to repairs. Or sorry, not Emily, Olafson. Um, or I could just keep Emily there. Honestly, I think I'm going to keep Emily because she's been... Well, when I get boarded, I still have my second team. I just don't really need five Mantis is the thing. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fire Olafson. Emily is going to go ahead and become part of the assault team. Bovie's is going to come off there. And we'll use Joel instead. And Layla's going to be our new shield operator. So we gave up some experience on shields there, but we'll get it back. Uh, now we can jump off to the next sector. We can go Zoltan or Mantis. Um, we might as well go Zoltan. There's probably a greater range of uh, crew we could potentially get from there. Mantis is much harder for us, you know, it's more risk that we're going to lose crew when we're boarding enemy ships. Uh, so too bad we didn't get the unlock quest for the Mantis Cruiser. What I would really like to do is add one more to my weapons. Let's see here. But maybe I should jump around and find a store first before I upgrade. 
We're in sector four. Tough to say. I'm gonna go s through the nebulas. Wow, we got kind of a complicated route ahead of us. Unless I go this way. That's better. I'm gonna go distress, nebula, nebula. I am. I'm gonna try and find a store before I upgrade, before I spend all my ship. Wow, 60 scrap though. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna go ahead and splurge on this. it for now. So this way I can use the Vulcan and the S-bomb, basically. That's the, the thinking here. Oh, except I need more power then. Hmm. Well, I can use the battery backup for now, if I need it. go after some ammunition. Yeah, so let's see here. Oh god, we're in an ion storm too. Um, okay, we're just gonna use the bomb. Whoops, not on their shields. On their mid bay. And we'll teleport over. And I'm going to use the battery back up to get our shields uh, doubled up. Intruders, huh? Yeah, these guys will be fine. That S-bomb's about to take him out. Probably take them both out. Okay, so now we just gotta kill the Zoltan. We got that Zoltan. Alright. So now we can power up our oxygen system. Teleport back. Power up the med bay. in the oxygen. And we're good to go. Okay, oops, we got an unmanned scout here. So that should be good. Bomb out their weapons while we shoot out their shields with the Vulcan. use the bomb again, but I want to try and preserve ammunition here. Ouch. Ah, oh, the Vulcan missed. Charge, you Vulcan. There, now it's fully charged. Uh, okay, we're gonna take on its weapons now. There we go. Now we got this. Boom. Took a little while to get going, but then everything was all good. And now's where we're really starting to see the benefit from our um, two scrap recovery arms. Uh, ah, there's a store. So now I think we can do these three jumps to get to the store with as much scrap as possible. Uh, they don't have a med bay of any kind. I'm just going to use the battery backup to 
power the teleporter. Use the Vulcan to try and take out their weapons. Or... yeah, and the S-bomb actually. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's a... a boarding drone. an ion pulse. Okay, these guys are trying to repair the hull breach. That's fine. Um, I gotta stop firing the Vulcan at their weapons systems because I'm gonna head in there. Does this guy have full health? He does, so this is kind of dangerous. Gotta make sure I don't get killed. Yeah, so I should actually teleport in there. I'm gonna have the Engi come finish that off. Well, what just happened? Why did that... I still had the bomb on there. Did I just kill someone? I did. I killed one of my own crew. Frick. Oh, that was bad. That's why I usually don't use auto-fire. Oh, at least I got a new crew member. Not a Mantis, but now I'm annoyed that I uh, released a Mantis crew member, because now I'm short. Oh, I gotta get my teleporter to let them out of there. So that was kind of unfortunate. <coughs> At least my two best guys are still alive. I'll send Swamps over there. I'll just have Karis on the backup team. Save current crew positions. We got an FTL jammer. That's not really useful. We're not going to take that. And now we can go to the store. Nope. Ah, we can buy a drone system though. That would be great. And there's some other weapon systems we'll look at. The first thing though is going to be the drone control. Uh, that came with a defense drone. Honestly, I want a second defense drone. Eventually, maybe we'll upgrade this to a defense drone too, um, but that's going to really help us survive. Um, you kind of need, on this ship, I think you, you really sort of need two defense drones to deal with the Rebel flagship. Uh, we're pretty much okay there. I don't want cloaking or mind control, I'm going to want hacking. I mean, I, I could go with mind control instead of hacking, in theory. Uh, heavy laser, I'm not a huge fan of. Here's another chain burst weapon. That's actually really good. Seven seconds once it acquires um, enough charges. It's only two power instead of four on the Vulcan, so the combination of the Vulcan and the chain laser once they get powered up, it's just going to be a vicious amount of laser attacks. 
Uh, I don't like the Hermes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go with the Vulcan and the Chain Laser. Okay. Now we need to start saving for upgrading weapons and shields. <coughs> Even door backup battery, maybe. Drone. We have lots of stuff to, to spend on. I don't think we really need to focus on spending scrap at stores anymore. Yeah, okay. Another store. Um, do I want to check it out? The only reason to do it would be to get try and get crew um, or potentially an augment we want. I think it's worth looking. Sensors. That would be nice. Hacking would be nice too, but sensors are more important. We could get another scrap recovery arm. Um, yeah. That's actually well worth it. I'm gonna sell the Mantis pheromones. Buy a scrap recovery arm. We need to sell something to get shields. I'm going to sell the basic laser because it's really just a pile of crap. Um, and now we have sensors. That is pretty awesome, I gotta say. <coughs> but now, like I say, we really do want to focus on upgrading our ship rather than buying it stores. Nothing here. Uh, it's probably going to take us too long to get to the exit if we go through this nebula. So I may just have to jump more or less directly there. They want to give us a drone part for two fuel, that's good. I'm going to need drone parts eventually once I start using those a lot. That actually means we are getting a little bit low on fuel. Automated scout. Go ahead, hack my doors. See if I care. Oh, whoops. That small bomb is targeted at the wrong place. I think we can save our ammunition now while the Vulcan does its thing. <laughs> that is just vicious once it gets going, my god. Alright. One last jump before heading to the exit. So we gotta take down the Zoltan shield, which we'll do with our Vulcan. Disable that bomb so we can power up our teleporter. We're gonna aim the Vulcan at their weapons and teleport over. Yeah, we'll be able to kill.
kill those guys nice and quick. We'll stop shooting so we don't kill our own crew like we did before. They're getting out of there because there's a fire they can't put out. And we got them. Okay, we can teleport back. Oh, our oxygen system is off. That's no good. Turn to crew positions. to the exit. Ion Blast Mark II. Wow, they are really dumping weapons on me. So three power for a four second Ion Blast shot. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, we can't use it with the Chain Burst Laser and the Vulcan. So we're not going to try. We'll probably use the Chain, Vulcan, and Ion Blaster. Um, the regular ion blast once we, or maybe, maybe the small bomb actually. Maybe we'll keep using the small bomb. Okay. I kind of could use some more power in my ship so that I can afford to have this set up. And now we'll jump out to the next sector, to the Rebel Stronghold. So this is where um, you can unlock the uh, unlock the Federation cruiser in this sector. There's a special event. So we will look for the event. I've already unlocked it, although it hasn't happened in any of my videos, so I'll point it out when it happens. But that particular event also has very high rewards. Um, so I think we'll keep an eye out for it. Although first we're going to go through this nebula. And we should be keeping an eye out for a store here. Um, so we can buy fuel, because we're a little short on fuel. Alright. This thing's trying to get away, but we won't let it. shields are completely down, that's bad. Alright, there we took out its piloting, now we can go after its weapon system. Ow! Let's go ahead and repair this. There, I got him. Alright, we'll repair the backup battery as well. recovery arms. That's just totally crazy. We're gonna earn so much scrap. We just have to make sure nothing horrible goes wrong. And actually we gotta heal these guys. The combination of being able to take crews out uh, without destroying ships for extra scrap as well as having three scrap recovery arms is just totally crazy. The only issue with having the scrap recovery arms is that we won't have um, augments, uh, any useful combat augments for attacking the rebel um, ship when we get to it, the rebel flagship. So we're going to have to be mindful of that and at some point later in the game we may actually replace these Scrap recovery arms. Okay, there's a store. I think we definitely want one because we're a little low on fuel. You can still get to it from there. So I could jump, jump. Mm, or I could get back into the nebula from there. That might be the way to go, is to jump here, here, here. That's what I'm going to do. And 
we've got an asteroid field. Wow, this thing has a scary array of weapons. I don't like the look of that at all. Plus, it's got mind control. Yeah, it does. I'm just gonna get out of there and let him destroy the oxygen system. I'm gonna small bomb that and bulk in it until their weapons are down. small bomb. Their weapons are down now. He came back to his senses. There, his mind control system is done. There, he's done. Alright. Uh, now we can get out of here once our drive charges. Oxygen system for 17 scrap. I'm trying to remember an unupgraded oxygen. Uh, that does save money, and I do eventually want to upgrade <coughs> the oxygen system, so I might as well do it. Okay, so now we could go with a hacking or mind control system. Hacking is going to be more useful in real combat, quote unquote. Um, don't need any drones. Shield charge booster is nice. I don't think I want to start replacing my um, scrap recovery arms yet. Not quite yet. Maybe in sector yeah in sector six. I'll start looking at them if I have the opportunity uh, to replace to start replacing them. Um, basically, you know, you buy them for 50 and sell them for 25, so as long as you've collected 250 scrap in the meantime, you make a profit on them. So we've basically made a profit on all of them. Um, ooh, a mantis. I do want a mantis. Okay, so I'm gonna buy a mantis and a hacking system. fuel and yeah now I can I'm gonna release a crew member and buy a mantis for 74 so the crew I'm gonna release is Karis the slug yes whoops not the ship the store <coughs> okay so we're back to having or Mantis, which was our goal to begin with. We're going to try and train Wai Xing's combat skills, since he has none at all. Xing and Emily, yeah. <coughs> okay, so they're not actually going to be very good at combat. We're going to have to be a little bit careful setting them out, because they might get beat by other Mantis or Rockmen. Um, and now we're back in this situation where we really want to spend scrap on upgrading our ship. Especially shields, I think that's the highest priority right now. Uh, but we could also upgrade the hacking system. And energy to think about um, the drone system. However, we do potentially want to buy more fuel as well. The ion storm. Okay, we have an automated scout. We don't need oxygen. Lower our shields. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna power the Vulcan and use that to take him out. And oh, he's got a combat drone. That's brutal. I'm gonna use the battery backup to power the shields more. Oh, it's the um, beam drone, not the regular combat drone. Nice. 
There we go. Now I'm starting to hit him. Okay, we got the shields down, so now I can go after his weapons. Come on, how many misses? Alright. I'll uh, send Remo over to repair that while these guys get healed up. We should power up our oxygen. Continue going through the nebula. Okay, let's get over here. Oh, whoops. No, oh, Remo was supposed to go here. There, we got him. I guess I don't really need to pause. I don't really want to use a drone if I don't have to. I'll bomb out their piloting so they can't um, FTL. Okay, so that's down. Given that they're hacking my shields, I am gonna fire a bomb at their weapons. Shields down, and now I'm just gonna totally screw them. To get all of their systems. Ha 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 ha. There. So, where to now that we're done with the nebula? All of these have to the exit, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump along this way and then go to the exit at the last possible minute. Okay. Uh, 
human full piloting and shields. What's my current human got? He's got better piloting. And I must have, yeah, Layla has some shields. I don't really want a human. I've got a better pilot. So, bye bye. So we'll have a quest marker in the next sector, and it looks like we have time to go here and then to the exit, so that's what I'm going to do. And an auto scout with cloaking. Too. It doesn't have shields. I'm just gonna save my missiles. I don't think I need the bomb. Alright, we should be okay here. Start firing at their piloting, and they're done. Okay, we can jump out to the exit now. Ooh, yes, six fuel for twelve scrap. Perfect. Okay, that should probably do us for fuel to the end of the game. Now, for upgrades, I want to upgrade my shields for sure. Perfect. So, we can go Rebel or Zoltan, doesn't really matter. However, going Rebel will allow us to go to a Nebula in the next sector, which will slow down the Rebel fleet, allow us to collect more scrap, all of that, so we're gonna go Rebel here. Very nice nebula here, too, so we're going to head in that direction. Man. Actually, I'll bomb out their shields and use the Vulcan on the weapons. Ooh, two drones! Plus three weapon systems. Is one of those... None of those are missiles, so a defense drone's not going to help us. Fire, I can put out that fire. There, okay, I'm going to turn off my bomb so as not to use any more. There, I got its weapons down. Now I'm going to... Make sure I can't miss it anymore. Wow, it had a lot of piloting. <laughs> Finish off the shields, and the ship is done. Okay. All good, make sure nobody's hurt. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. Two stores. <coughs> uh, interesting. Don't really feel a strong need for a store right now. However... Hmm. That one at least... Oh god. How do I avoid doubling back? Is there a way to do both stores without doubling back? Looks like not. So I'm going to go to this one because that leads to that nebula location, and then down here, and then, yeah, I could go that way. So maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, I'm just looking for augmentations. Remember I said I might consider replacing the scrap. Uh, you know, <coughs> for variety, it would be nice to have a Rockman, but we're so late in the game now, I don't think it's, it's worth it. 
don't need a cloning bay, can't buy either of those. If there was a drone mark two, I would consider it here. Um, our only other option is a heavy ion. Stun bomb's no good, Pegasus missile's no good, nothing's that interesting. Uh, I'm gonna sell the ion blast mark two because it takes three power and so it won't work. We can't use it with the Vulcan and the chain laser, which is clearly our strategy at this point. <laughs> so that was just to clear up cargo space and get a bit of credit. Um, nothing else I can really buy here. I could potentially get some drone parts. Uh, question is whether I'll need them. <laughs> I may. I'll need more fuel. I'm in sector 6, right? Ooh, well, I might need more fuel, but I'll have time to get it later. I'm going to be using fewer missiles soon. Spend 32 scrap on four drum parts. Eh, 20. It's just in the, in the end game, you can end up using a lot. So, you know, one for the hacking drone two more for each defense drone, that ends up being three in a single fight. Um, we're going to probably use at least like nine or ten uh, drone parts just against the final boss. So if we want to use any between now and then, I think it's a good idea to actually buy some. And soon we'll start upgrading. Now we'll go to the store, go to this store, down here, over here, and then back up and around and then to the quest marker, and then down to the exit. Hopefully we have time to do all that. But going to the nebula should help. I don't want to use a drone part. I'm just going to attack this thing, I don't care. Um, so many automated chips lately, I haven't been able to board anything in ages. bomb out the shields and shoot at the weapons. Although really, if it hacked my weapons, that would be the smarter thing to do. Weapons or at least shields or something. Alright, shields are down, I'm gonna stop firing bombs. on the drone system. Nothing in the station. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh wait, no. Not. I'm going to go to that last store first, in case there's some augments there that I want. It would also be worth um, upgrading the backup battery before too long. Okay. Nothing here, so we'll go to the store. Weapon Preigniter. We want that. That we want. That is an amazing weapon. <coughs> we don't need any crew. So we gotta we gotta sell a scrap recovery arm. And we're gonna buy a weapon pre-igniter. The other two, I mean the battery charger would be nice, <coughs> but I'm not sure it's worth giving up a scrap recovery arm for. Looking at the weapons, hull smasher, pike beam, and in theory a beam would be kind of fun. Can't use a heavy laser with our planned layout. The hull smasher could do a lot of damage, but I don't think we're going to need it. 
If it were a halberd beam, I'd probably take it. Um, so with what we have left, we will repair. And then I think we're done. So... Wow, the weapon pre-igniter is just so great. I can't even express. <coughs> it is the best augment in the game, which is why it's so expensive. But we're not going to sell any missiles. Intruders on board. The only problem with these events is they don't flip in. Give us any, uh... Oh, I should close that. Ow. Well, it's worth it. Four damage to the hull for 26 scrap and eight missiles and two drum parts. That's crazy. How come I can't get out of here? Oh, because I don't have any power and relevant systems. Rebel Scout. Can't really do anything. Oh, the weapon pre-igniter didn't work because my weapons weren't powered up when I made that jump. That's annoying. marker Wow um, I will go look for a reward oh my god the quest markers out there though I can't I can't go there I can't I'll get stuck fighting the rebel fleet way too much. Man, so many unmanned ships. This is all unmanned ships. It's crazy. I haven't seen anything with a crew in this whole sector, I don't think. Oh dear. Okay, that's bad news. Let's get out of there. Oh, his mind control system went down. That's great. Get 
of here as soon as we can. Oh, a crew! Oh my god. Look at that. So here, I actually have a lot of drone parts now. I'm gonna go ahead and power that. Uh, S bomb their weapons and Vulcan their weapon their shields, I guess. <coughs> Try and get their weapon systems down. I'm gonna use bonus power to go ahead and teleport in, and I'm gonna use hacking on their med bay. Bay now they can't get in yet though. So we may actually just having the door locked even maybe enough to kill them it was. Look at that 93 scrap I got for that encounter and I don't even have all three of the drone recovery arms I, I used to have or scrap recovery arms I used to have. have the exit to go to my ship. I'm going to go ahead. I definitely want this to go at least one more and I'm actually going to go with two more. And I probably want power for the drone system too. So now I can start using the drone system. Two more. I could even go a third more on the weapons. Anyway, I'm gonna now finally swap in the chain burst laser. I haven't been using that healing bomb, I just haven't needed to. Oh yeah, no, that was that was how many I wanted. I wanted the seven. <coughs> um, so this might be our final weapons layout, depending on what becomes available to us later. We have a weapon pre-igniter, so all of this will be ready to go. I'm going to want to upgrade the hacking, upgrade the battery charger, upgrade the drone system so I can run both defense drones. After all, I did pay money to, or scrap, to get that second defense drone. Combat drone mark one, not as useful, I don't think. I mean, potentially, sometimes I do use combat drones instead of defense drones, but I think with this, w we are actually pretty offensively loaded up here. We, we just, we have to wait for these to charge, which is where the defense drones will really come in handy. So, off to the final sector. We can go to the Slug Homeworld, where we could potentially get the unlock quest for the Slug Cruiser. So, for that unlock quest, we actually have to have sensors at level 2, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then we're looking uh, for a non-distressed beacon. There's a store. In theory, I could go there for augments. But I'm going to have to get over there. Easier said than done. I mean, I could go straight there, but I don't really have enough stuff. I mean, I could, I would, if I buy an augment, I would sell a scrap recovery arm for 25. And sell a combat drone. I mean, I would maybe have enough to buy something if there were something there, just from the stuff I would be able to sell. So, I think it's probably worth going to the store and then going traveling from there. If 
fire suppression, no. Automated reloader, we want that. And... The burst laser mark 2 is actually... Well, that would be really powerful. Oh my god. I think I have to get that. If I can. Um, just as the third weapon, once we fully upgrade our weapon systems, that's going to be crazy. Yeah, there's no drones available. So, we'll sell a scrap recovery arm. Sell the healing burst. Sell the ion blast. Sell the combat drone. Do we have enough, even? Not sure. We want the automated reloader, because that's going to increase our recharge. And we want the burst laser, but we need another 15. So do I, ha I have to sell the small bomb to get it? That's okay, though. That's just... This is just such a vicious um, setup. Because three shots... I mean, just the rate of fire coming out of my ship with lasers is going to be totally out of control once I can afford to upgrade the weapon system, which will be soon. fight. So we're going to use the Vulcan and Chain Laser to take out their um, med bay. And actually under the circumstances I should send Bovian Swamps in instead just because it's going to be a little bit hairy in there. Because I'm not probably going to be able to... I mean, they're going to be able to go to the med bay. It's going to take a minute while these, you know, charge up. Ouch. And yeah, I can get the rest of them in. Keep hitting my engines, it's brutal. There we go, okay. <coughs> so now I just have to be careful. Ooh, okay, my health is not great. Down here to help in that fight. I'm gonna stop firing with these so I don't blow up the ship by accident. Got it. Alright. Hey, cool. Free reactor upgrade. That's actually really handy. Um, wow, Remo's in bad shape. So is Layla. central. Well, I guess I could go either way. <laughs> yeah, I am going to go down that way. Okay, good old slugs. Finally getting to board some ships again. I had a long hiatus from that. And yes, I need to take out their men bay, obviously. Thank you. 
who's taking the damage at this point. Um, now we're gonna turn off those guns. Go kill him. Oh! We killed him. Shot him to death. Just that, that amount of scrap is just so awesome, getting 83 out of one encounter. Okay. Oh, we have a fire in the engine room. So I'll have him go help put it out as well. These guys are slightly injured also. position. Weishing and Emily. You know, honestly, I might as well just send Swamps and Bovi over. There's so, so few actual hand-to-hand -hand fights remaining um, that there's not much point in worrying about training. I'll just send the best guys over first so I can kill stuff faster. Another store, huh? Alright, I'll check it out. It's worth taking a look. Again, primarily for augments at this point, that's all we would want. Nope, don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. Oh, but what I do need, actually, good thing I looked. Uh, <laughs> I need some fuel, I was getting low, down to five. Repairs. And I need 135 to upgrade my weapons again. The next priority would be, uh, what, 70, 120 to upgrade my drone system to run both defense drones. go up here, I guess, and fly around in a circle. No, I'm gonna go here first and then there, and then fly around in a circle. Uh -huh. So this is five crew, plus whatever intruders are on board. So in theory, if we take no hull damage here, could get that achievement that we're after. We will counter the remote hacking with our hacking... Actually, that would have been the thing to do, would have been to use the hacking system. I have so many drone parts now, it's ridiculous. Um, so they're teleporting in. Can take care of them. I really... I'm going to actually focus on their weapon systems at first. Maybe not teleport over, because I really want to not, um, <coughs> uh, take any damage. So I'm going to use a defense drone for that purpose as well. Oh, they went into that room. He can go ahead and get out of there. Shields are still holding, still no damage. I'm gonna kill those slugs. 
just need these guys to charge up. There we go. Get their weapons down. pretty good job. However, I have to worry about their haul, so I'm going to go ahead. They haven't been able to damage me so far, um, so I'm going to go ahead and take out their med bay instead. They are, oh, their med bay doesn't have much uh, to it, so now I can transport into their med bay, get the second team ready. Those guys are a quick kill. Now, I think their weapons are... Yes, I got their weapon systems down. And we're fighting in a fire, but that's okay. It will hurt them as much as us. They're leaving the fire. Yeah, let's just kill this one guy. Alright, we gotta get our other team in. Let's get in here before they repair the med bay. Ah! We got it! Awesome. So the intruders actually counted as crew. Um, and I'm going to teleport some fresh guys in here because I know there's fires burning in here. While I kill him, now he's running away. Where's he even going? He's coming down here. That'll just get him killed. There, we got him. Plus a ton of scrap. So we got that achievement we were after. That's great. That's going to let us unlock the Mantis Cruiser B layout. We can teleport back to our ship, get everyone healed up. Anyone else injured? Nope. Okay, now as I was saying, we really want the extra power in our weapon control system. put one extra power in the hacking system for when I need it. You know, for when I'm not using the teleporter, this would be my basic power distribution. <coughs> Nothing here. here. That's really brutal. Especially in Sector 7, you get so much scrap with each encounter when it gives you a bunch of, like, no encounter. Uh, nothing there. Man, this happened to me in a playthrough once before, and it ended up meaning I lost because I just jumped around and couldn't get any scrap. Alright. So, they don't even have a med bay, so I can just go to town on their weapons. Um, but to aid in that, I might as well go after their shields first. We got one of them down. weapons. Oh, they boarded and destroyed my sensors. That's fun. And I think I killed them on board their ship. Oh, thank god that missile missed. I should have had a defense drone up. I didn't realize they had missiles. Alright. That's enough of that. We'll go after their weapons now. 
Oof, so many shots. Okay, stop shooting. I'm gonna kill my own guys if I'm not careful. Get out of there. <coughs> they can go help out in this fight. Oh, they teleported back. Okay, so I have to teleport back also. Who has the most health? Bovie and Emily, I think. Yeah. Just go ahead and power up the med bay. Alright, we got him. Blaster, we probably won't end up using. Go ahead and repair the sensors. We don't have to time to jump over here, here, and back, so we just gotta go down there and then to the exit. God, more nothing. There's just so many encounters where like nothing happens. It's so brutal. And nothing here either. And if I jump down here, I'm gonna be facing the rebel fleet, so I might as well go to the next sector. That's just ridiculous. Brutal how few encounters I got in Sector 7, and that's where all the money is. <coughs> Alright, um, so we're gonna try and jump around as much as we can before we go after the Rebel flagship. Because um, we clearly need more stuff, more scrap. Alright, so. He's being coy. I'll launch a defense drone. By being coy, I mean he's cloaking. How did my drone fail to blow that up? <laughs> That's really annoying. That's what the whole thing is designed for, and yet it missed. Alright, so we're gonna go after his shields. I'm actually gonna hack the shields as well. Cause like, hey, why not? Now I'm draining the shields. Shields are down, so I can might as well attack the weapons for a minute. I should leave something pounding the shields though. There, I got the shields. Taking more hull damage than I like here. Okay, we got him. Who needs health? These guys do. Oh, the hacking system's damaged as well. Okay, with that hundred, I'm gonna go ahead and spend that on drone control. So we can launch two drones. point jumping there because the rebels will be there so we'll jump down here it's the only clean sector we have to go to all right we can take this guy out I'm just gonna use hacking on the med bay 
shoot the crap out of his weapons. Looks like one of those is probably a missile system and we have tons of drone parts, so we'll toss up a drone. He's gonna try and get to the med bay and fail. There we go, we got this. Ooh, that was a little closer than I like. Anyway, they can go heal. I don't need the teleporter for now. And I can stop shooting at them, because that's just going to kill them. Yeah, we got them all. Okay, now we're basically saving money. We need 180 plus 70. We need 250 for shields. Uh, it's going to be tight as to whether we can get that before we have to face the big bad boy, but maybe we can. Uh, it's actually tempting to go ahead and get repairs here. I am going to go to one of these repair places because they give you free scrap uh, and fuel and stuff. Plus, I needed the repairs. Okay, they're gonna capture that one. That sucks. Oh, weird. I'm gonna fight him just because I need the scrap. <coughs> and I think I can do it without getting badly damaged. Looks like he does not have a med bay. Oh, intruders. Alright, I can deal with that. Two of them down. Oh, and their intruders are coming back. I should go deal with them. Yeah. We got this. There we go, we can stop shooting. Got him. Teleport back before the fires get to us. gonna get there at that point. Let's see. I could spend the 180 on the extra shields. What is my power distribution gonna look like when I actually face this guy? Uh, I'm gonna have no extra power, but I could use the backup battery to get uh, to actually power those shields. I just I can't get scrap in the areas where the rebels already have control. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Go ahead and spend on the shields. Start with them powered up and then I'll just use the backup battery. Maybe I'll I'll have one of the defense drones linked to the backup battery actually. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, here we go is the final battle. Oh, I forgot. There's no point in boarding. So we're going to go ahead and man the uh, weapon and sensor stations. And we'll send the other mantis in. 
as backups for our Engie, who may have to go do repairs at some point. And of course the first thing he does is hack my backup battery, so so much for that plan. I guess that means we're actually just putting... Oh, I have no power for defense drones? What the heck? Yeah, I guess I have no power for defense drones. So I really do need more power. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and launch a hacking attack on their shields while I try to shoot the crap out of their shields. Right before these guys fire the two burst chains. Okay, now I'm going to hack the shields. Okay, let's get in there and put out that fire. Backup battery is damaged as well as hacked. I might as well just write it off. Looks like I killed one of their crew in there. That's kind of cool. All right, that fires out. He can head back to do his job. I don't know. Get out of there. Oof, this is where I need the defense drones. There, I shot down one of those missiles anyway. Okay, his shield system is kaput. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take out his weapons one at a time. His shield system is a lost cause, man. There's one of them down, the Vulcan can go focus on another one. Okay, we took a little bit of damage there, but not too bad. So we can go repair. He could use some health. Oh, actually there's more repairs to do there. positions and why was I out of power before and I'm not now it's so weird all right I'm gonna at least buy one more power that'll help so he's jumping that way the store I don't want because that can't give me scrap unless actually I might have stuff I can sell I can sell that ion blaster um, and this probably the scrap recovery arm. So I am gonna go ahead and go to the store before I jump to where the uh, rebel flagship is so that I can sell some stuff and use that scrap. That's a nice little, nice little thing. Automated reloader wouldn't be bad actually. Okay, so I don't need the ion blaster. I don't need the scrap recovery arm. I could get another automated reloader. 10% cooldown. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty hard to argue with. Plus, I can repair all the damage. Yep, pretty good little trip to the store there. Here we go, Mr. Rebel Flagship. Okay, I'm going to... Ooh, should I hack its drone control? Or its shields? I'm going to hack its shields. I'll do the same thing, take out the shields as quickly as I can, but then I'm going to focus on the drones before going after its actual weapons. Wow, plus my lasers just blew up a lot of drones. Uh, what happened? Oh, my hack must have gotten destroyed. Ok, 
Okay, here comes a big drone surge. Okay, their shields are thoroughly screwed. Now we can take out their drones. Yep, drones are screwed. These guys are really basically screwed. I got this. <coughs> Pretty good. This I told you this laser setup I have here is just totally ridiculous. Out of control, overpowered. Uh, I wish I had enough for power bars. I don't. Can I maybe the backup battery? No, nope, don't have enough for that. Oh well, doesn't matter. And uh, but we got the last last encounter here. All right, he's got the Zoltan shield now, so I might as well just power up an extra defense drone since I can't hack at the moment. Mind controlled my pilot. That's somewhat annoying. Fires are annoying too. <laughs> I don't really want to spend time like killing my own crew if I don't have to. Backup batteries destroyed, piloting's destroyed. Um, I'm gonna turn off oxygen for a bit so I can hack their shields. Yeah. Should speed things up a little. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just really don't want anyone to die here. Okay, so that is dealt with. Remo should go repair that. He's dealing with that. Emily's dealing with fires. There, Monsvik woke up. He should go back to piloting. Remo's repairing that. I don't really need the extra sensors. I do need someone on shields. Wait, where are these guys going? Come on. Okay, so that's all dealt with. The mind control is annoying, but not ultimately a huge deal. I'll take it out anyway. This is gonna go quick now that the shields are down. Kill those guys, Monsvik go back to piloting, Remo go fix stuff, Layla go help fix stuff. There we got him. Oh yeah, let's <laughs> turn the oxygen back on, that'll be fun. Oh, okay, doesn't matter if we kill the last of the crew. We win. Thanks for watching. Very successful at the end there. And I'll see you at the next video.